Ladies and gentlemen, the discussion today on this channel is the Anambra State Intercity Rail System Project. Uh, we will discuss it, um, discuss the advantages, um, why we think it's necessary. Um, personally, I think it's a, um, a system that this time has come. I believe is it will be it will be very beneficial to the state. Uh, looking at the area view plan generated from Google Maps, I was able to connect the cities of Onitsha, Nairobi, Ibadan, Anoka, and a, a town Okoso, as you can see on the area view plan. This will be a rail system that goes around the state in a beltway fashion that anchors at this major city. It will be a beauty uh, to see by tourists that, that would visit the state. This would be an ultra-modern infrastructure project that might be interesting to other states of Nigeria to embrace. It would be a high-speed connectivity between all major cities in a number of states, including on its main upper and broad. It will connect, I believe it will also connect residential and industrial corridors along the path of the city. Um, again, there are a lot of benefits uh, for the state. There are many ways a high-speed rail system can benefit the urban hubs of Anambra State. Also, small towns along the alignment can also benefit and grow economically. Um, it will make Anambra State an economic engine and meet the environmental and energy challenges of this century. Uh, building this kind of system will also create hundreds if not thousands of jobs. It will increase the economic activity of the state and spur businesses and activity along the corridor of this rail system. It will reduce congestion on the road and, um, and boost productivity. It will expand travel choices and improve mobility. High-speed rail system can deliver people from one city to another as fast, if not faster that they travel. Uh, this system, I believe, is a vision uh, by the state governor. I believe uh, other state governor thought about it, but they never actually put it into practice. I believe uh, Governor Charles Paulo will deliver. And again, I congratulate him um, uh, for being able to initiate this idea. Thank you. Please continue to work. Anambra to introduce rail system to ease movement of goods and commuters. Can you imagine? To introduce rail system and now it's not that I'm thinking about it, how to introduce it. The think rail project is a joke. Rail project takes years to complete. Okay? So you see if it is now, with all these years of uh, all the state governors have not thought of doing rail in their own state. Okay, and they are waiting for federal government. Meanwhile, they're getting allocation every month and only God knows what they're doing with the allocation. So it's now they're beginning to think outside the box. There are other things they can do to develop the state, including extraction of the solid minerals in the state. Nobody's taking that direction because all your money is coming from Abuja for everybody to share every time. Eh? It's quite a very terrible one. So if uh, the governor of Anambra State Solido I started not seeing this idea. Okay, that's fine. You can start from any time. They say they say now when person start nine be in morning. So good morning, Anambra State. Meanwhile, other states are still sleeping. That is it. Anambra State government has completed arrangements to introduce a rail transport system aimed at enhancing distribution of goods, commerce, and the movement of people across the state. To this end, the managing director, State Bureau of Public Procurement. Uh, architect okay Ezobi disclosed that the state government has engaged an international infrastructure development firm to design the rail. Anambra state government has um, Anambra state government has introduced a rail transport system aimed at enhancing distribution of goods, commerce, and movement of the people across the state. To this end, the managing director of the Bureau for Public Procurement (BPP) 
okay disclosed that the state government has engaged an international infrastructure development firm to design the rail master plan so addressing journalists yesterday in Aoka during a press press briefing ahead of a six-day capacity building series on theory and practice of public procurement for local government stakeholders is will be said the firm cpc's cpcs transcom limited based in ottawa ontario canada has been chosen from 10 international organizations that applied for the design so according to him investors were already waiting for the master plan implementation in view of the bankability and feasibility study on the real initiative as will be said the state government has commenced payment for the master plan design which will take rails railways to the boundaries of the state with the railways moving containers from the port uh, will be cheaper and faster from which port now okay from the river niger at Anisha. okay we looked at the track record after considering the technical bids the financial bids their domestic experience uh, before arriving at cpcs it is also uh, instructive to note that the firm had acclaimed anambra under uh, governor chukuma soludo as a forward-thinking state and uh, speaking of the capacity building series this will be assured that it would encourage accountability and transparency in public funds utilization in line with Solido's vision to ensure adequate value for money. He said that the new direction and changes in Solido's government is one that will restore public trust as people are now aware of how their resources are spent, adding that procurement is a process that must reflect accountability and transparency. He insisted that local council leadership must be accountable in their handling of public funds, assuring that plans had reached an advanced stage to absorb local council staff into BPP to ensure proper training on procurement. So the 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 bottom of this story now is that Anambra State is introducing a rail transport system in the state to ensure that goods, commodities commuters um, is made easy from end to end of the state they are even talking about moving containers i'm just wondering where they're going to move that container from except if they have containers landing at on the river niger river niger port so then they can move goods from there into the inland state inland for delivery of goods and commodities okay so now what is about 10 companies had to bid for the design and uh, after all the checks and after all the assessments a cpcs a company in canada ottawa has been chosen to do the design and they have commenced disbursing funds that is uh, making payments uh, to the um, consultant to start the design of the rail but what is missing here is the timeline for all of these when is the design going to finish when is the review going to finish and when is the construction going to start and when are they hoping that the rail will start operations not to start a project that they cannot finish and then before you know it it will be abandoned it become a dead story and then another governor will come and start from there and, and start his own project as well leaving an ongoing project that he inherited it's a very very disheartening one so they use this um, this uh, locomotive picture to show us how the train will look like i just think this is illustrative what i'm seeing here is an ancient train not a modern train so i just hope that we design that they will design something that is more modern easy to maintain and easy to operate as well and also very safe for users as well and then we saw what is happening between abuja and kaduna railway that bandits are going to bomb on the road i just hope that will not be the case of this one too in anambra where we have a lot of unknown gunmen that i hope they will not go and also lay ambush to bomb these trains as they operate because that is what is happening between abuja and kaduna and uh, only god knows whether it has stopped 
or not, at a point people had to abandon that uh, real system. So I've got some comments here from a few individuals. Somebody saying this will be a great feat if achieved, of course. So since federal government refused to build it just because of hatred, God will make it happen. And somebody is telling him, so is, is it federal government that's building the one in Lagos or other places have been? And God is not going to come down to do it. God is going to use people. He has given us brain and power to think and achieve things that will liberate us. Exactly. So it's not God that will come and do it. He has given us brain and power to do it. Uh, somebody said, I thought to be as taking care of that as governor before keeping a mega sum of 70 billion naira uh, out of trillions of allocations he collected. If you ask him now, he will say he don't think it will necessarily then have it. So why are you bringing Peter B into this matter now? Which one did your father do? That's the question now they're asking them. Eh? Is it not the same way they gave birth to Peter B that they gave birth to your father? Or is your father born to be clapping hand for others? Abby? <laughs> So yes, that nah, they don't give her back. Why you what, what, what has Peter B got to do with this, Abby? That is a welcome development. I can I can't laugh, Abby. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Easy to detect a fool. Yeah. Laugh over good development. What brought Obi into this matter? That is that is the problem. Obi has no business in this matter. Why are you bringing Obi into this matter? Doesn't make sense. Eh? So somebody say you don't have rule, you're talking about a rail line that flood will carry away. Abi, that is one big problem we have. The same railway, the same way flood is destroying road, so the same way flood will destroy the railway if it is not well managed. Because train is not going to swim in water in the name of a railway to just catch fire. In fact, only God knows what will happen. So the government need to think of how to also improve the road, not just railway alone. I know that Anambra State, Enugu State, um, I, I think even Imo, those South Eastern States are ravaged by erosion every year, gully erosions. Okay, so how are you going to run this rail track such that erosion will not affect it? And how are you going to send, how are you going to run this rail track such that the same problem that the roads are having, that this rail will not have the same problem? All of that need to be considered. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. That is uh, Solidus plan in Anambra to introduce a real transport uh, system.